Well, hello, Cody. You got some big old spurs, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? Let me show y'all why they don't like people living in the country, okay? We recently had a investment firm from China contacted us, want to know were well, we interested in selling our homestead, and I probably told them to basically fuck off. And this is why they want you to sell your property in the country, guys. Everything you're seeing right here came right out of the woods. We got so we got frogs with all that rain. We got the mushrooms, and we were able to do this. We didn't have to spend any gas going to the store. The cost for this food was zero dollars and zero cents. So these uh, frog legs. A lot of people bitching about the rain, but we love it out here in the country because the mushroom growing, you get all the frogs coming out and shedding the watermelons, the cantaloupe doing great, and everybody's happy. And this is why Joe Biden and company don't want y'all living in the country. They want y'all to have to go to the uh, gas station, gas up, go to the store, spend your money, get taxed to hell and shit. And uh, you know how much this cost us? Zero dollars in zero fucking cents. Nothing, nada, free food. And why they distracting y'all with all this monkeypox bullshit, COVID-19, um, and the Trump thing. What they're not telling y'all people right now, we got a virus spreading pretty quickly. Last week, last check, it was only found in the country of Ghana. And now it's in several countries. I'm talking about Marburg, M-A-R-B-U-R-G. It's got a 77 to 80% mortality rate. It's spreading like wildfire. We still have a wide open border. We still have unrestricted air travel. Got another virus in Florida killing people. I forget the name of that one. A friend of a friend went a few weeks ago, spent a week, came home and died from it. And right here in Mississippi, there's a new soil borne uh, bacteria. It's going to be very dangerous. So. Folks, what we're seeing is end time biblical. Even down, God said in the end times, I will, in the end days, I will speed up time. You know, NASA playing around with creation and shit. We've got CERN. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Trump can't save you. Biden sure as hell ain't going to save you. The only one that can truly save you is the good Lord himself. My concern is the point of grace, that period of reconciliation where you could go to God through his son, Jesus Christ, and confess your sins and, you know, turn your life over to him. Has that point of grace expired at this point with everything we're seeing? Now, even atheists are starting to get the picture, folks. They're actually seeing it for what it is. And they're a little freaking out. I'm freaking out as a Christian because, you know what, we're living in end time. This is a very exciting time. If you live in a country... And if you're a Christian, but I'm going to tell you folks, Biden can't save you. Trump ain't going to save you. Wish we had the orange idiot. Wish we had him. He was an amazing leader. We'd have a closed border. And if fentanyl wasn't bad enough, there's another drug flowing through the border. It's supposed to be like 200 times more potent than fentanyl. Come on, guys. It's time to wake up. Alex Jones, who just got screwed over again, you know, freedom of speech, Sandy Hook. Alex Jones said it best. America, wake up or wake go. It's time to wake up. But is it too late? But no, really, you know what? Get you some country property. I don't care if you get you one acre. Get the hell out of the city while you can, folks. Marburg is spreading. We're a great threat for a solar uh, grid down. And those yummy wind turbines, you know, the windmills out there in California, they guzzle 60 to 80 gallons of gas a year each. That horrible oil, 60 to 80 gallons. And at one facility alone, we've had over 100 majestic, federally protected bald eagle knocked from flight, killed. They fall into the ground like hotcakes. And that is absolutely disgusting. It is disgusting what this once great nation has become. But again, Alex Jones, like him or hate him, he said it best, folks. America, wake up or wake up. And guess what? By golly, we are there. I feel, I believe at this point in this big game, this agenda, and this is just my opinion. So please don't censor me. At this point in the game, I have a good feeling of what it must have felt like 
for the poor Jews living under and being subjected to the tyrannical dictatorship leadership of Adolf Hitler himself with the buffoon, lunatic, brainless, Alzheimer's dementia. Well, something's wrong with Joe Biden. He can't walk up plain stairs without falling. He can't get off a bicycle without falling. He can't put on a jacket. And we're seeing all of this in little bitty clips. Can you, he even got lost in the Rose Garden. He thought he was in the freaking Amazon. He was in the Rose Garden, walking in circles. Uh, help me, help me, rescue me. He didn't know where the hell he was. He probably don't know what today is. And he's not our president. He's merely a puppet, in my opinion. Biden is a puppet. What about, forget Hunter's laptop. Have you seen what's on the iPhone that they have? Forget a, forget a subpoena. Where's the arrest? Where's the arrest? Did you see what he did? Did you see what Hunter did? And what about the big guy? Where's the one? What about Hillary? America, wake up or wake up. Peace out, God bless. Whatever you do, get the hell out of the city. Get to the country. Buy you some guns. Get you some ammo. Be prepared to defend yourself, your property, and your family. We need Trump back.